What's going on guys, Chris Batchelor here, bringing you the Thursday Inventory. It's currently the 25th of November. So, yeah. <laughs> now, it's been Thanksgiving in the US, and um, Zerus forgot this, and he's decided to be a very stingy motherfucker, apparently. But, um, anyway, it's a legacy engram, not a regular one. Not this time, guys. Uh, legacy helmet, so... Year one Eternal Warrior... Aqua Fate Symbiote, things like that. Titans, you get the Immolation Fist with 81 strength. And not exactly the greatest thing ever. I would rather go with something like Intellect Discipline or Discipline Strength. But uh, anyway, the main perk is Accelerant, unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node, Explosive Pyre for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies. In PvE, this is great because the explosion one-shots most tier 1 enemies. Um, and takes the shield away from any other tier 1 enemies that do have shields, like uh, Shanks, Acolytes, things like that. But um, it, if you actually, I think Shanks get one shot by it regardless of a shield, which is really cool. Anyway, so it is a discipline strength roll, um, higher strength and discipline, of course. So I might, I, if you do pick this up, I may suggest re rolling it with Twist Fate to try and get a discipline high strength roll. But, um, or better yet, a high discipline strength, high discipline roll to strength roll. Um, so yeah, you get your increase of discipline strength just now. You get rain blows for increased melee attack speed, momentum transfer for, for bonus melee energy on grenade hits, hand cannon loader. Hand cannons are really great in the crucible right now. Really good spot to be in. Um, it just sucks that you need to have the whole max range thing, but um, running rifle barrel means hand cannon loader is extraordinarily helpful. Then you get machine gun loader, increasing the reload speed of your machine guns. Uh, machine guns are still pretty good in Crucible. A lot of the heavy weapons have just had a nice middle ground for Crucible. And as for PvE, well, honestly, you can use whatever you want anyway. So, loaders, PvP oriented, in all honesty. But, um, anyway, I would say pick this up. Definitely, definitely pick it up if you haven't already gotten Immolation Fists. When running Sunbreaker in Crucible, Immolation Fists are a must unless you want to use Twilight Garrison or the Armamentarium. Hunters, you get the Crest of Alpha by with what I do believe is actually a maximum intellect roll. 138, yeah, 138, max intellect roll. So that's awesome. Um, so if you're looking to build a tier 12 Trials of Osiris setup, Crest of Alpha by here is going to be awesome. Um, the main perk is Keeper of the Pack. Revive fallen teammates faster and be revived faster, and your supers will generate an extra orb. That's pretty cool. So the maximum orbs you can make with one super is eight orbs. Keeper of the Pack will mean you'll make a ninth orb. Now, you get increases to strength and intellect. So running the high intellect means you can go discipline strength in everything else if you're running a Night Stalker, which means you can have a very, very strong neutral game and have a lot of intellect for your tether. You have Scout Rifle Ammo and Sidearm Ammo. Sidearms are in a nice little place in the meta right now, so increasing the amount, of, the amount of ammo you have is always quite nice. The Dreg's Promise is actually in a really, really cool place right now. Uh, Shoutouts to Ghost B for fucking destroying me with that thing. Um, <laughs> Scout Rifle Ammo. Scout Rifles are it's always been very nice, very consistent in my book. Um, for the moment, though, you have Void Burn Defense and Void Armor, so again... Running the high intellect with a Night Stalker, having Void Armor is there, uh, there as well to uh, give you the little bit of an edge. That's always, always very, very handy. Um, honestly, I would say pick this up. In fact, I am going to pick it up. Um, but uh, honestly, yes, go for these. They're very, very good right now. Next up, we have the Void Fang Vestments with Discipline and Strength. I would probably say just reroll this, in all honesty. Uh, the main perk is Hungering Void. Spawn with full grenade energy every time you spawn and respawn. And your Axion Grenade spawns an additional Seeker. Now, there is a perk in the Voidwalker tree which um, enhances your Axion Bolt Grenades as well, but these two do not stack, I don't believe. I'm, I'm, I, can, I do believe they don't stack, but I can actually be wrong about that. But uh, these are actually really great for the neutral game of all Warlocks because you spawn with full grenade energy every time you spawn and respawn, right? So these are incredibly, incredibly good. 
Um, discipline strength, again, I'd say we roll this, go for intellect and discipline. Um, we have hand cannon ammo, again, hand cannon's very, very good place. Uh, shotgun ammo, shotguns are shotguns, I don't need to say much more about it, but um, running void armor here, I believe void armor is intrinsic to void fang vestments actually, and then you have void burn defense. Void armor I do believe is intrinsic because uh, of the improvements to your axiom bolts. It Bungie kind of makes it so as, um, you know, this has void armor, nothing else can be applied here, so you should use a void walker when using this. I think that's the sort of mentality that Bungie kind of put into this game when they were uh, redesigning things like void fang vestments and uh, heart of the practic fire and things like that. And then obviously when releasing new exotics like the Terrence Hella chest piece for the blade dancers. But um, uh, void walkers with shotguns are pretty strong, pretty strong indeed. Um, Having void armor there uh, means they can be incredibly tanky. If you use the vampire build, um, with if you use the vampire build with axion bolts, you can actually run high armor, and you won't even have to worry about your recovery because you're because of how the vampire build works. So this can actually be really, really consistent, very, very strong as well. Um, I'm not going to pick this up because it's just one strength, and I really don't want to waste time with glass needles right now. But um, honestly, yeah, it, the exotic is good. It can be worth it, but go with intellect and discipline, please. For the weapon this week, you have the patience in time sniper rifle. Note that this cannot snipe off a revive anymore. Now, we have field choke, when you get into the ballistics, field choke, CQB ballistics for maximum stability, and aggressive ballistics for just a little bit more impact, but this still does not mean it can res snipe. You get Third Eye. Radar stays active while aiming down this weapon's sights. Note that this doesn't help out with uh, Memory Agalian. This just works alongside the Memory Agalian. Memory Agalian only uh, keeps your radar active for all primary weapons. For your optionals, you have Custom Optics, Precision Glass for lower zoom and a wider view. Uh, I actually... When I kind of started playing this game, I looked at Custom Optics and I thought, ooh, no. And then I realized, wait, lower zoom? Yes. <laughs> Custom optics can be actually quite interesting here, um, especially with CQB Ballistics giving you a maximum stability roll. It can actually be really, really nice. Uh, you get Fitted Stock, which increases the weapon stability, and Field Scout, which increases the carried ammo capacity. With this, you can um, run heavy weapon ammo on leg armor and primary weapon ammo on uh, your chest piece, whether it be hand cannon, scout rifle, auto rifle, pulse rifle, whatever you want it to be. Um, and Field Scout will mean you can maximize how many rounds you can carry. This will let you carry over 14 rounds, I do believe. Now the final perk is patience and time. You gain an active camouflage while aiming down the sights. Uh, this doesn't stack with Shadow Jack, I don't believe. I don't believe it stacks with Shadow Jack. It, I think it used to, but um, I haven't noticed it working alongside it anymore. Um, this also does, this actually activates as well when um, you're already invisible due to Vanish and Smoke or Stalker uh, in the Hunter skill trees, um, but uh, Patience and Time does actually activate, but the time doesn't like increase at all. Instead, the time that you've already been invisible or the time you have left to lose your cloak is instead passed off over to Patience and Time. So if you have three seconds left of invisibility and you've only just gone into the invisibility for Patience and Time, you will literally be exposed in three seconds. Which kind of it does suck quite a bit, but um, you know, for getting able for being allowed to go invisible and peek out a sight lane and go for an, a nice easy snipe, then it can be worthwhile having the invisibility. Now note that is still this still gives you the lens flare, uh, so patience and time does not clear that up. You will still have your scope can still be seen. So if you get sniped while invisible and you think, "How did he see my head?" It's like your lens flare is there. <laughs> Just remember that you're not completely hidden. Now, patience and time. Yes, it's still a very, very good exotic. Pretty good sniper to have in PVE and PVP. When arc burn is up, patience and time is fantastic. In all honesty. Now, getting into the weapon ornaments real quick. We have the prototype for the Truth rocket launcher and the Iconoclast for the Invective Shotgun. We have the Emerald Coil Vehicle Upgrades, Stealth Drive Vehicle Upgrade, turning Rare Sparrows into Legendary Sparrows, the Heavy Ammo Synthesis, one Strange Coin for three packs of Heavy, 
the three of coins, five three of coins for seven strange coins, and the glass needles at uh, three strange coins, three modes of light, and one exotic shard. And finally, the mode of light exchange. Now, I'm going to go blow on my money on heavy synths. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below. And if you want to see more uh, content from me, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.